Good morning. We're here in Gatesmead on the northern side of Haywards Heath, close to the Linfield borders. And I'm about to show you around number 51, which is a rather lovely four bedroom detached house just down the bottom here on the left. But I've started just here. Um, this development, this is called Birch and Oak, and it was actually built around 2018, 2019 by Cress Nicholson. Rather lovely exclusive development. But it's located off Gatesmead, which is um, a short cul-de-sac off Birch and Lane, which in turn is located off Portsmouth Lane on the uh, Hayward Heath Linfield borders. But the lovely thing about it is just at the top here where you come into the development, there's a great big wildflower meadow there, um, which is all protected. Um, it's all part of the managed development. Like all these developments, you pay a management fee. If you check our sales particulars, because by the time this probably goes live, those uh, that figure will be on there. But normally it's around about 500 pounds a year, maybe less. Um, but a rather lovely development, but it is a bit exclusive because it's, you're like I say, you're on the north side of Hayward Heath. Beyond that house at the very end of the road there, there's a, um, a footpath which comes from Old Wickham Lane and heads in a northerly direction up off Hayward Heath, over Hayward Heath Golf Course. So beyond that tree line down there is Hayward Heath Golf Club. That's all protected. They've got a new lease on that now, so that's not going to be developed as thought. Um, glorious bit of countryside we don't need being built on. And then beyond this house at the very end of the road is some rather spectacular um, fields as well. So if you're a keen dog walker, then it's great. But this footpath, like I say, heads in a northerly direction up over the golf course. You can walk up to Ardingly Reservoir, which is a spectacular walk. From here, it's probably going to be about three miles. It'll probably take you an hour. Um, but the other mad thing is you can walk to the station. I would walk to the end of the road and just walk into the footpath. Obviously, in the winter time, if it's really wet, um, probably not so passable. Um, but if you wanted to walk to the station from where I'm standing, it's a 0.9 mile walk, so less than 20 minutes. So the house I'm going to show you is this one, number 40, um, number 51. So it was built, the owners bought this in uh, 2019, brand new, from Crest Nicholson. This is the Mortimer design, so it's a rather lovely four bedroom detached house. The owners have done various upgrades, including the garden. So this one's got a south facing garden, it's backing onto a wooded copse, which I'll show you in a second. And then beyond that is the wildflower meadow. So rather lovely environment, gives you an idea. Come inside and have a look. As you see, got a driveway on the side for a couple of cars. There's quite a big side access there. So if you wanted extra parking, you could do it. The owners have also partly converted the garage. So meant to be a gym, currently being used for storage. And they actually extended the kitchen and made a separate utility room, which is rather lovely. So come inside, let me slip my shoes off. So first things first, lovely entrance hall. They've gone for various extras. So you've got Antico flooring throughout the majority of the ground floor and upgraded uh, carpets. You've got a downstairs loo here with a window. At the front, you've got the big living room. So it's a well-designed house this, so great big living room with this nice big bay window. And they've got the plantation shutters there. It's a fabulous room. And then for me, Best room in the house. Sorry, before I had to do that, I should say, you've got an enormous big storage cupboard there, another great big one there under the stairs. There's lots of storage in this house. I mean, look at this, fab big kitchen. This is what we all want, or well, this is what you'd all love. So a fully loaded kitchen, everything's built in in here. They've got the quartz stone worktops, the extra big hob. So again, lots of upgrades when they bought this brand new. And then something the owners did, you can see this beam up here, so that's where the wall for this kitchen was and that section beyond that was the back of the garage so what they did was made the kitchen that bit bigger so as you can see it takes a decent sized dining table could take a much bigger table than that and then they created the utility room so a separate utility room with its own little back door so if you're coming in from the walks with the dog very handy and then the garage like every garage i see full of junk and stuff but this was the gymnasium Easily make that into a separate study if you wanted to. Lots and lots of options you've got there. And then I'll give you a quick peep at the garden. So again, they've done a lot of landscaping out here. So the back garden is 45 feet wide. It's 55 feet deep. It's bang south facing. And obviously they've had it all landscaped. I'll take you out there in a sec, but lovely big terrace. I'm here first thing in the morning, so the sun hasn't quite got up enough yet. And then come upstairs. So we've got four beds. I've even spoken to someone with one of these houses on this development who's already considering doing a loft conversion to create another two bedrooms upstairs. So master suite, great big double bedroom and double aspect. And then again, the owners upgraded, they asked for extra wardrobe. So they've created this sort of dressing area at this end of the bedroom with two sets of double wardrobes. Nice outlook to the front. 
and then a full size ensuite with a bigger, mega size walk in shower and a window. So you watch my videos, you'll know I do like a window in a bathroom. Back bedroom, another lovely size room with the outlook. Now we're seeing this with the leaves. I actually came and saw this house some weeks back in the winter. There were no leaves on the trees. So I've actually got a more open outlook into the woods beyond and the meadow beyond. And you just get an outlook. Look at that. This is a new development, but it, you don't get that sort of outlook on most new developments. So if you're one of those people that would love a brand new house, but doesn't want to live on an estate, this is the house for you. So it's got everything. This is the smallest bedroom. With it, and then I won't open that, but that wardrobe is huge. You can see how far it goes back. It's just a TARDIS for storage. If you didn't really want it, it's all stub walls. So you could open it up, make this bedroom even bigger if you wanted to. But again, that one's overlooking the front. And not, I'm actually gonna show you this airing cupboard. I would actually buy this house for that airing cupboard. Look at that, and properly shelved. The owners will probably curse me for that, but it is a decent airing cupboard. Family bathroom, again, another window and the shower. And the front bedroom, which is another nice size double, currently used as partly as the home office. Again, full range of mirrored wardrobes in that one and overlooking the front. So that's the inside. So just to recap, we've got four decent bedrooms upstairs, two bathrooms, the great big living room. And of course, that fabulous big kitchen. Let me grab my shoes, we'll whiz out the back. Now, uh, distances, I mentioned the uh, railway station. Now, the railway station, according to my, like I say, Google Maps, if you're walking on foot on a day like today, it's a 0.9 mile walk down to the station. We are literally in a directly, uh, directly straight line to the railway station from here. Um, if you're walking, you'd walk into Old Wickham Lane and then Wickham Way brings you down there. What the owners also did was build this really long shed. I think it's about 12, 10, 12 feet in length just for storage down on this side. And as you can see, they put the crops of old stone gravel everywhere before I take you up the garden. Love this terrace. So this is all porcelain paving. This is where if you really wanted it, you could have more parking, but again, just really handy storage area. And then come up the garden. Like I say, we're here at 9 a.m. Very early, the sun's only just coming up. You can imagine this in the summer, the north face, um, with a south facing aspect. This is just a sun trap. Try and poke over the hedge. That's what you're backing onto. And then when you come around the back, you get a pretty good aspect of it, of the rear of the house. So there you go. That is number 51 Gatesmead. It's on the Haywards East Linfield borders. You've got countryside on your doorstep. You can walk to the station in 20 minutes. You walk into Linfield in 20 minutes, which has got this picturesque high street and all the schools you would fall into catchment area for are in Linfield as well. There you go. I hope you found that helpful. Any questions, please contact Mantle McTaggart in Haywards Heath. Do come and view and do follow us on this YouTube channel. These properties are live on there before they're on anything else. Thanks for watching.